So guys, welcome to my second episode of the best smartphones you've never heard of. So in this series, I'll basically take a phone which has had great reviews, but not much exposure, and give it a whirl myself. So just before we start, if we could hit 800 likes, that would be absolutely insane. So without further ado, let's get started. So the smartphone we're talking about today is the Ligu M5, and priced at under $70, it's an absolute steal. For the whole time while using it, I not once felt like I was using a handset that costed any less than $200. It is really, really well built. The entire frame is made out of machined metal, which on one hand makes it really, really tough, but on the other hand makes it quite heavy, weighing in at over 170 grams. It's hardly the thinnest smartphone either, but that's not what the M5 is actually going for. Quite the opposite, in fact it's actually one of the most rugged, durable smartphones I've ever seen or used, built to withstand basically any accident you can throw its way. The display is a pretty standard affair, IPS, 720p, 5 inches, pretty much bog standard in all aspects. The colours and saturation don't particularly shine, but they're not bad either, and the viewing angles hold up nicely. The only thing I would say is that it could be brighter for outdoor usage. Given how well the phone's built, and its incredible price, I was not expecting much from the camera, assuming this is the area the company had sacrificed on. It's not exactly going to blow your mind away, but it's not bad either. The images come out fairly crisp, colours decent enough, and obviously they can be further enhanced. The aperture is set at a fixed f2.0, so you won't be getting too much professional bokeh here, but at this price who really cares? Front camera is actually better than I was expecting, but it applies so much makeup that it kind of looks like I was having an identity crisis. Unfortunately, if you wanted to vlog, then you may have to look further because this is what the front camera footage looks like. But on the other hand, the rear camera footage, especially with a bit of editing, is not bad at 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now to me, one of the most underrated features on a smartphone is the audio quality. How does the speaker sound? Now while the placement isn't great, the actual sound quality is honestly fantastic. It does have the bass that it says on the website. The volume is probably 1.5 times as loud as my Galaxy S7, which is meant to be a media consumption device. And the detail is great too, I was really really impressed. And now we have performance. So considering its rock bottom price, the M5 is actually quite well equipped. We've got 2GB of RAM and the MT6580. Now yes, that's an older chip and it was hardly flagship when it came out, but the company has really optimised it to work well with this device. The only smartphone games that this thing can't chew to pieces are the intense 3D titles, so Modern Combat, Suicide Squad, Nova, those kind of games, but everything else it'll slice through, and that includes internet browsing and UI usage. Now speaking of the UI here, we're actually running Android 6.0, which is a real bonus. It's got a light skin on, but nothing too intrusive. But some of the features that are added are genuinely quite useful, for example the quick toggle slider. So the battery has a capacity of 2300 mAh, which is not the best I've ever tried. You can get through a day's usage with not too many problems, but then you also won't be left with much charge for the next day. However, the phone does counter this with the inclusion of a lot of battery saving options, which do work quite effectively. The fingerprint scanner works exactly as advertised. It gets you in between 0.1 and 0.2 seconds, so no complaints there. So there we have it guys, that is the Ligu M5. It goes above and beyond the Call of Duty, especially at this price point. The audio, the build, the way it looks and feels in the hand, all absolutely fantastic. The fact it's running Android 6.0, a big bonus, and not something we see on all Asian smartphones. Unfortunately though, the camera has its ups and downs, and the phone is a tad on the heavy side, but these are definitely excusable emissions. So guys, thanks a lot for watching, if you enjoyed this video be sure to whack that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.